guys, so today I thought I would do a Q&A video. So if you follow me on Tumblr, you've probably seen me posting again and again. Please send me questions, please send me questions. I'm gonna make a Q&A video. Um, and basically the main reason I want to do it is because my hair looked kind of good today when I woke up. Because I dyed it yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted someone to see it because otherwise I would just stay at home. I'd have no one see it other than my cats. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there in case everyone wonders. Um, uh, but also I wanted to make a Q&A video today because um, I've been feeling kind of confident and that's not something that I feel very often, so... Uh, yeah. I'll probably manage to do it today. <laughs> So I posted that on Tumblr and I got a bunch of questions, uh, not too many, but... So first of all, uh, Luisa Vang, or however your username is pronounced, asked me a lot of questions here, and I'm gonna start with hers. So first of all, she asked me, what's your favorite art tool? Um, what's your least favorite color? And do you make sculptures? So my favorite art tool. I really got into acrylic paint uh, this the past month, I guess. So I'm using these ones, uh, and I really enjoy them. I find it very cool because I I haven't done all paints. I have only painted with watercolors before, so. That's a new feeling for me and I like it. But I also really, really like uh, colored pencils. I have, I, <laughs> I am privileged enough to have the Prismacolor or big package. Not, not the big, big package, the like this size box of colored pencils. Um, which is very, very good. I'm very like to have that. I've had it for like five years. So yeah, these are my top two. I used to really like drawing pencil, but now I've kind of like, like I mean the, grey pencil, the normal pencil, just with that. I really used to like drawing with just that, but now I've kind of really gotten into colours and yeah, <laughs> I prefer it now. Um, so, a least favourite colour? Uh, that would be, that would be orange, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that would be orange. I really don't like orange. Um, or, not orange, like, <laughs> thank god I have the pencils here. I like this type of orange. Um, I don't like this type of orange. This, I find this disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, well, I really like yellow. Like This type of yellow, my favorite. But <laughs> the orange yellowish thing, I'm <laughs> not really a fan of. So, uh, do I make sculptures? Uh, I don't actually. I haven't actually made a sculpture like with clay or anything before, except a few times in art class at school, when I went to art school, we would make like vases and little angles like that for history of art class, I think. I, uh, yeah, my teacher didn't, really didn't like mine, uh, so uh, she would always <laughs> say she hated it, kind of, so I didn't <laughs> want to continue making stuff with clay. Also, it's so expensive, so <laughs> I prefer like drawing with the pencils and know I'll have them forever. <laughs> Lisa also asked, um, what's your favorite music to paint to? What quote would, would you describe your attitude towards art? And who or what inspires you the most? Uh, so, my favorite music to paint to. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is basically just the, my favorite music I that I listen to in general. I, I, I like to paint music that I already know, so I, I'll i never... Like, when I listen to a new song, I want to be 100% concentrated to it. So when I paint, I want to listen to songs that I'm familiar with. Um, so yeah, basically, I like upbeat songs from when I'm painting, because, especially when it's like painting, painting, when we do, like the big brush strokes and stuff, um, instead of just a little pencil thing. He's like, yeah, I want upbeat music for that, because I, I can make a lot of movements and I want to do it. So yeah, no, not really specific kind of music, just, yeah, upbeat music, not the melancholic slow type. Uh, 
So what, what good would you describe your attitude towards art? Um, uh, that's a kind of a tough question. I'm not really sure how to answer it. I guess I'll just think that it has something I really enjoy. <laughs> that sounds like very not sophisticated, but <laughs> I've never claimed to be sophisticated. So it's just something that I enjoy doing and I feel like it kind of fulfills me. What or who inspires you the most? Um, Art-wise, you mean? Hmm. Uh, Art-wise, I wouldn't say I have a very specific inspiration. I just, well, I try to see as, as much art as I can, but there is not really a very specific art to this that I think is my inspiration. Of course, I, I look up to many artists, but yeah, I don't really think I have an inspiration. Uh, next, we have a question from uh, Anonymous, which is, um, why are you drawing people for free? <laughs> this is about the thing I said before. Um, don't get me wrong, but your art is too good to be giving it away like that. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's, that's kind, of, kind of funny because I've only so sold my art a couple of times and I would feel very uncomfortable like drawing portraits of people and selling it to them. But yeah, uh, so basically it's not like I don't gain anything from the whole thing, like I've gained a lot of attention. Like my art blog had 20 followers before and now it has like 100, <laughs> more than 100. It's <laughs> like blown, blown away <laughs> at that. So it's, I've definitely gained a lot of attention from the thing. I'd that wasn't exactly why I did it. I, I just really wanted to see new faces um, and be able to draw them because sometimes I felt a little awkward like drawing people when they didn't know I was drawing it or perhaps didn't want me to draw them and then I felt bad posting it. Um, so it just sticks to like looking around at people or yeah, not having a specific reference so much because I feel bad for it for some reason but I just thought well it's gonna look too much like that person so I'm go not going to want to show it to anyone because my thing always looks like them <laughs> yeah um, also I I've seen a lot of posts on Tumblr or and I've seen a lot of people in real life say oh oh I really wish I had friends that could draw me or just I wish that people could draw me sometimes and I, I can't really identify with that, but um, I, if it makes people so happy and I gain so much from it, then why, why the hell not, you know? Like it's, it's not like I'm exactly looking for a job right now. I mean, yeah, I wish, but uh, then I assume not as many people would want me to draw them, because let's face it, I'm just doing like very quick portraits of people. It's not like any work I put a lot of effort into. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, another question from Anonymous um, is how old were you when you first dyed your hair and how did you decide to do it? And also what hair dye I use. So, um, uh, that was just two years ago. It's No, no not even two years ago. It's a, a year and a half ago. Like it was uh, July 2014. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, when I proper dyed my hair, like when I bleached it and dyed it uh, purple. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's was purple before? Um, yeah, before that, I just tried to do it without bleaching it, and it just didn't look good. It didn't even look like I dyed it, to be honest. So yeah, that was just a year and a half ago, and I I don't know why exactly I did it. Maybe you know, all of us when we were kids, we just really liked colored hair and so it's always been something that I wanted to do and I thought okay I have short hair now uh, I'm not going to regret it too much if I don't like it I'm going to fucking cut it off because I don't care um, but I did like it uh, I did it on my own it could have been very dangerous but it wasn't thank god um, so yeah it wasn't really a specific reason I just decided to keep it because I, I ended up liking it a lot. Now I can't see myself with all brown hair. So what hair dye I use? Um, I use a stargazer hair dye. This is the 
pink color before I use the violet color. Um, so yeah, that's it. I don't really have the bottle here. <laughs> I mean, I have the bottle, but I don't have the package. Okay, this is the last question. Um, what would your ideal writing career be? What do you most love to draw? And what don't you like about making art? Okay, my ideal writing career. Oh God, uh, sounds kind of weird, but I'd like, I'd really like to write for TV shows. <laughs> well, I wonder why. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I really like the idea of writing a book or anything, but I, knowing, writing something in order for it to come to life, or being directed and actual people playing it. That would be like awesome, and I especially a TV show because um, you know as the episodes roll along, you get to discover more about the characters, uh, which is like my most favorite part of writing, like the characters. While in movies, you don't really get to see that; it's mostly focused on the story. And I mean, of course, that's great, but I really enjoy writing the characters and stuff. Um, what do you most love to draw? Um, well. Uh, <laughs> I like to draw faces, basically. <laughs> you probably know that already. But yeah, I like to draw faces. Um, I also like to draw whole bodies, but I'm not that good at it yet. And I'm trying. Yeah, that's that's it. I like I like drawing people, basically. I'm not a big fan of landscapes and stuff. And what don't you like about making art? Um, Oh, that's kind of <laughs> hard because I I actually like everything about making the art I make. Um, I guess it's like generally it's when I'm drawing in public and people come up to me and are like, "What are you drawing, sir?" Eh? What are you doing? Show me, and please show me what you're drawing right now, before you finish it. Uh, or when people... I know this is kind of con contradiction with the previous things I said, but when people ask me to draw them, like, when I meet someone, and they're like, Hello, how are you? Oh, I heard you like to draw. You, yeah, you draw very well. Can you draw me? <laughs> I mean, like, if I just met you, I, I didn't offer to draw you, you just kind of pressured me to do that. So, yeah, I might, I might say yes, but I might not end up drawing them and seem like the asshole, because I, I feel weird drawing people I know in real life sometimes, especially when they're like, they're the one who asked it. Um, also, what I don't like about making art is, what, you know, that, that stage when you're just trying to draw something a little bit new, or you're, uh, or you're stopped uh, being used to something that you used to draw and you're like in this phase when you're stuck and you're erasing and you're trying to get at something very specific right and it just looks weird and you don't understand why it looks so weird. It's, this is so frustrating. Yeah, and of course, like, bad thing about making art is that you, <laughs> you have to spend like a very long time on it and on improving on it and when people don't appreciate that and you've spent like your whole life doing just that, it's like you're completely like invalidated. It's like um, I didn't spend my all my early teens locked in my room in front of a desk just trying to draw the same thing over and over just to get better at it. Just to have you say, well, that's nothing, like I could do that or well, you could have done that, but also focused on that, and that, and that, like, it's not something important. Well, obviously it is important because I spent my whole life <laughs> trying to do it right, so <laughs> it is important. Just, I'm glad I can say that now, I really had to get it out of my system somehow. Um, so that's, that's all the questions. It wasn't a lot of questions, but it was very good questions. Thanks everyone for sending them in. Um, I might do one of those in the future again if I get more questions or if people ask me to do them. Um, but for now, expect a video um, of me drawing the strangers from Thunder. Um, 
like I recorded some parts of me drawing them, not the very first ones, but like from the fourth one, I think. Not really sure. But I'll make a little montage of it once I get to like the twentieth one. I'm now on, on the ninth one. Uh, so yeah, uh, expect that soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs>